right now we've got some developments with the Houston Astros. The Astros, since I've been gone, I've been gone for a week, they hired Dusty Baker to be their new manager, and then today they announced that they've hired James Click to be the new general manager. So Jeff Lou now, AJ Hinch, they've been replaced by Dusty Baker and James Click. Thank you for clicking on this video to learn about James Click, the new GM of the Houston Astros. 42 years old, he comes from Tampa Bay. Here's him at today's press conference in Houston. First of all, uh, I'm just incredibly excited about the opportunity and the, the team here. Uh, it's a deep, talented roster, an equally talented and innovative front office. I wanna say thank you to Jim Crane and the Astros organization for the opportunity. Uh, I appreciate how rare these opportunities are, and I'm humbled and I'm confident I won't let you Now, of course, it was pretty much your standard new GM press conference. Lots of thank yous, lots of cliches. What I was listening for was were they going to talk about the Astros cheating scandal, and later on in the press conference, a reporter asked him about the Astros cheating scandal, and James Click said that when he was working with Tampa Bay, one of his jobs was to look for cameras and nefarious activity from opposing teams. Take a listen to what he had to say. James, what was in the commissioner's report was obviously mostly about 2017 and 18, but in the 19 ALDS, when you, the Rays played the Astros for five games, there was talk about pitch tipping and maybe sign stealing and, and whistling or whatever. From being with the Rays, what was your perspective about that series and, and taking over this organization overall, what you're dealing with in terms of the punishments and everything they've been through? Yeah, one of, uh, one of my jobs during the uh, 2019 postseason was to walk around all of the various parks with the Major League Baseball officials, and they would identify every piece of technology that's, that's out there tell us exactly what it was for, where it was going. Um, that included, you know, every park that we played in in the postseason. Um, and so, you know, through that process, uh, I think we all got very comfortable that there was nothing going on that um, that that was, you know, um, under the table or, uh, you know, not above board, wherever the opposite is, below board. Um, and so from that perspective, you know, I'm, I'm very confident, absolutely certain that there was nothing, nothing going on. Um, in the years before that, you know, there were obviously a lot of rumors of, of things going on, not just here, but throughout the league. And, and I think the commissioner's report addressed that. So if you're Jim Crane, you're laughing right now because now Lunau's gone and you get this guy, James Click. This guy looks like he could be an upgrade. And the sad thing to me, if you listen to that, you heard him lump the Astros in with the other teams that were cheating. Last time I checked, the Houston Astros, they're the only team that has gotten punished so far. They're the only team that has been confirmed to have cheated in the 2017 World Series. So don't lump them in with other franchises, okay? Now look, if you're James Click, I totally get it. You have to say what you have to say. You have to do what you have to do. There's only 30 Major League Baseball general manager jobs on the planet, so it's not an easy job to get, but hey, you have to start being accountable. This organization cannot sweep this under the rug, and I want them to be a little more upfront with the cheating that they have proven to have done in 2017 and beyond. So we're going to see how the Astros are going to respond this season. They still have a lot of young talent. If you want to make a power move, this is what you do. You trade for Mike Fires. I would love to see that. No, I'm just kidding. But if you look at their current roster, you still have George Springer, Michael Brantley, Guriel, and Josh Reddick under contract and team control for the 2020 season. And then next year, the 2021 season, Verlander, Carlos Correa, Zach Granke, McCullers, Roberto Osuna, Joe Smith, and Martin Maldonado, then you've got some decisions to make. So, But for the Houston Astros, I grade this a big A for asterisk. No, a big A for excellent. It was a great hire for the Houston Astros. James Click was the right guy for this job. He's respected all throughout Major League Baseball, but really it's another reminder that that punishment was too light on the Houston Astros. Just look at Jim Crane's face. Does he look like he's hurting after that fine? No, he still has that World Series in his back pocket, and he knows what he did to get it. So if I'm the Houston Astros, great hire, and we're going to see how he's going to deal with everything that's going to be surrounding this. So every ballpark they go to, are they going to be booze? trash camp banging. We're going to see how it goes and we're going to see will this roster of players that he inherited, will they be as talented and as productive without cheating? That's just a real question that needs to be asked. Do they still have the talent or was it because they were stealing signs? That remains to be seen. Did Jim Crane bring him in so they could organize another system of cheating? I have no idea. I'm not saying that. That would be clickbait but I do like the move for the Houston Astros. 
Thanks for watching the Get More Sports YouTube channel. My name is Doug McCain. You can follow me at DMAC underscore LA. And for all the hottest sports content in the game, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, and most importantly, give me all your takes right down below in the comment section. I want all your takes right down below in the comment section. And for all the hottest and latest sports news, head over to GetMoreSports.com.